Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, president of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're gonna go over a problem that crops up with Flickr Free, and that's using it with edits within your video editing app. This is a somewhat common problem, and uh, we're gonna talk about why it happens and how to fix it. So let's dive into it. As you can see, I have some drone footage here. And if I play that back, you can see that I've got a really weird camera shift that happens right around here. You know, kind of flying around. And then the camera resets, goes down, and then it resets back up. And that's all well and good, but that's not, I don't want this part in my video. Uh, what I want to do is start the deep flicker process from the first frame after that camera shift. And that's right here. So what I'm gonna do is apply Flickr Free. You can see that I already have it applied. I've got a time radius set to 10, sensitivity to three. It all should be great, right? So I click on Flickr Free, turn it on, and it renders. And suddenly I have a problem. You can see that I've got sort of an overlay on this clip. So if I go forward a few frames, you can see that overlay sort of fades out and it's just a regular footage. But right here, I have an overlay. What is this? Well, what's going on is I made a cut because I don't want all this footage here. But Flickr Free, because it's the time radius is set to 10, it's looking at 10 frames ahead, it's looking at the current frame, and it's looking 10 frames back to figure out what the correct luminance should be for this clip. And the problem is, even though you've made an edit here, it's still looking 10 frames back. So it's seeing this overlay is actually this frame right here. So it's seeing that, and because it's trying to color correct your clip, it's using that as a source for that color correction. And so it's getting blended in, and that's not what we want. Now this is more common if you have detect motion turned off. If it's turned on, it's a much less common problem. But sometimes with a clip that has a lot of flicker, you really need to have this turned off. And usually I would say use a much lower radius, you know, four or five, if you're gonna have detect motion turned off. But even then, if you have sort of this, an edit where there's a very abrupt change, you're still gonna have this problem. And so it's good to know like why this problem occurs and what you can do about it. So what can you do about it? Well, like I said, you can turn detect motion on and if that still deflickers the video, most likely this overlay problem will go away. Or if it has to be turned off, what we can do is I'm gonna cut the filter away. We're gonna take it off of the clip. And what I'm gonna do is take this clip and I'm gonna now nest it. And this is called different things in, in different applications. In Final Cut, it's called a compound clip. In After Effects, it's called a pre-comp. And in Premiere, it's a nest. And so we're gonna nest this footage and we'll just call this FF nest. And what this does is it takes that edit and puts it into its own sequence. And now we're actually applying Flickr Free to the sequence. So I'm gonna paste Flickr Free in. Oops, I'll select it, I'll paste it. And so now Flickr Free has been applied, but we don't have that overlay happening. It's not looking all the way back. It would like to look 10 frames back, but because we've put that clip into another sequence, the sequence starts at the frame that we made the edit, and so as far as Premiere or Final Cut or After Effects is concerned, there's nothing before it. So all Flickr Free can do is look forward. And that's what's doing now. And you can see that 
even if I move the playhead, there's no overlay. The footage looks as it should, and we're all good. So this can happen in a clip where you have an edit, where there's some fast camera movement, possibly where you did some editing in camera. All these things can cause Flickr Free to give you this ghosting. And at that point, you need to make an edit and nest or pre-comp or make a compound clip out of the edit and then apply Flickr Free to that nested sequence. And that's all there is to fixing that problem. So thanks for joining me. Of course, we have lots more tutorials on digitalanarchy.com along with free filters and demo filters of our paid plugins and all sorts of other cool stuff. So definitely check out digitalanarchy.com and thanks for joining me and see you in the next tutorial.